Hey, welcome back. It's me, Crimson. I haven't been able to record any videos in a really long time, and I had this task that I thought would be a pretty fun one to uh, do while recording. So here we are. Let's get it going. Today, I'm working on some UI, something for the main menu that I think should be pretty cool and also gives uh, a bunch of information to the player. And hopefully when the Miami series debut update comes out, uh, players will understand the new primary weapons a little better. Um, my goal is I want to have a little description that pops up when you hover over these buttons. That way you know what's special about each weapon, what they do, all that kind of fun stuff. Pretty simple UI element, but I felt like, you know, hey, could be kind of a cool video. Maybe some people learn some things about widget blueprints or whatever. You know, you get a little smaller step closer in understanding what goes into creating suit for hire or games in general, I suppose. So. Let's get it started. We're going to quickly uh, start whipping up a very simple template for the hover. And if anything, we're also probably going to find a couple references that I think should be sort of close to what we kind of want to go for. All right. So I whipped up a couple references from a few different games and uh, whatever this is. Uh, we got a bit of a POE, some Witcher, which I'm pretty sure this is a fan made concept. I don't know. I didn't actually play Witcher. Um, that being said, it's not like there's millions of items that you can get or weapons, right? So it's more so just a description for a very spe special, spe specific weapon type um, that we have for the primary weapons. Like if anything on full release, we'll maybe have like six or seven. We don't really want to go for something crazy like this. If anything, it's more so like a description for how it works and stuff like that. Um, we're gonna have to figure out how we'll go about doing that. But I think these references are sufficient enough. If you're curious, by the way, the program is called PureRef. I'll put a link to it down in the description if you want to pick it up. So let's get started. We'll do a very quick block out of what we want the UI to look like. All right, I've made some small beginnings in our uh, hover widget. I made it so we uh, create the widget on construct, which basically means whenever this UI element is constructed, this is it's going to run this stuff. It's going to create the hover info thing that I just created here. Um, it's going to set it to a variable, and then it's going to set the tooltip. I was using a binding earlier, but that's a horrible idea because bindings um, run each tick, which is bad. But it works. Although it doesn't look the way I uh, want it to, specifically where it's positioned. I want it to be positioned on the left side, but it's a pretty good start. We've got a bit of blur on it and stuff, so it looks pretty nice. Obviously, I'm going to adjust some of the colors and stuff, but that's the beginning. Okay, well, I got it to work, but <laughs> it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a hacky method that um, I don't think many people would approve from, uh, not even myself. Look, it's not even inside of the content bounds. Look at this. It's just floating in nothingness. <laughs> like it kind of works. It's a bit weird though, but it does work. Would I recommend doing this? No, but we should be okay because we're just dealing with vertical boxes. So the alignment is all within here, um, but I'm pretty sure you generally don't want to do this, but it's okay, right? I'm also going to add an animation to it really quickly. Just a quick, you uh, very simple kind of like fade in. I'm literally here. I'll do it right now. Progress. All right. We've made some progress. Uh, event construct obviously didn't work because this gets spawned in on construct, which, you know, doesn't really help. So what I did is whenever this button is hovered, I'm just going to play the animation on this thing. And that works pretty well. So uh, I just created a custom event for it. And I also had a print string just in case to make sure that it's working. But you can see that nice little fade in does make uh, quite a bit of a difference in just, you know, not looking as, I guess, abrupt or as intense when this box uh, pops up. It should work on controller as well. Let's just test. So I'll hit continue here. I'll go up. Uh oh, that's not good. I'm going to figure that out and what we can do there. This is going to suck. All right. Well, it's this makes no sense to me. This, for some reason, does not work on gamepad. Even though um, when I pop up on these, it does show the print string, but for some reason it doesn't work on gamepad. I have no clue. So 
we are going to say screw the tooltip yet again another another great little unreal engine thing is like, oh. yeah we're gonna just say screw tooltips because clearly it's not gonna work properly and we are gonna hard code adding the the tooltip in because this is obviously not going to work as uh as intended so what we're gonna do is uh i guess we're gonna calculate all of this stuff here we're gonna have to make sure that we don't duplicate tooltips and uh, cause some random tooltips to appear on screen that we don't want this is definitely not something i like to do but you know unreal engine for some reason umg just just doesn't support gamepad all that well for some i don't know maybe it's just the way i'm doing it I don't know. anyways i'm gonna get this fixed up and hopefully it should look a little nicer too give me a second all right i was able to show the ui element um however one problem is i can't make it statically spawn uh, in a specific spot every single time I hover over it. I'm essentially just getting where the mouse position is on the viewport, um, which isn't exactly how I'd want to do it. I was trying to look for some nodes that could uh, make it easier for me to get the overall positioning of the widget in the space, but it's a little bit more convoluted than... I was expecting it to be so instead i'm just using get mouse position on viewport and it works on both uh mouse mouse and keyboard and also on controllers so that's the most important thing um it looks pretty good although my one quarrel is the fact that the box well it blocks the gun a bit which isn't very pretty looking um should probably just move on to the next thing or I could spend another 15 minutes seeing if I can get this to work how I want it to. I might mix it up. Who knows? All right. Well, I got it working. Um, all I had to do was scroll down on the forum page that I was on, and I found somebody who had code that looked like this. Uh, <clears throat> that's good. Very good. Thank you to the person that made that. Um, this is how you get the where it is in the geometry space. And it kind of works. Um, I will say, I think split, not split screen, um, widescreen, I don't know if this is actually the resolution for it, but I'm going to assume it is, um, it doesn't look too great, just all together, so it's probably going to be something I'm going to have to figure out all around. It's a good thing that I found that, that code, so now I can kind of use that to my advantage, but that is some um, beautiful progress. I think we are making some good progress. Now we just got to start planning out the, uh, the widget. I think I'm going to increase the size of it a little bit. I feel like it's a little tiny. It's going to be difficult to put in a bunch of information in there. So if anything, we might have to increase the size of that exponentially. Because I think there are a few, po few people playing on TVs or like really big uh, screens. Um, which is surprising. If you do play the game on your TV and it's like a big, like big resolution, let me know. I'm curious um, what your experience is like with it, if anything. Maybe I add some UI scaling or something like that, but I do think we need to make the box larger. So we're going to do that real quick and maybe start putting some stuff in, some text or something. Alrighty then, after a little bit more work, I've figured out a little bit of a structure, or well, I like it so far, I'm probably gonna hate it in 20 minutes. That's usually how the UI designer mindset goes, or at least for me. Um, I got a couple little aspects in here. There's the audio range. The enemies hear you when you uh, fire the weapon. Magazine count, of course. Um, and then there's fire rate as well, as in like the cooldown of how long it takes to fire the next shot so a little bit of data that i think people might find interesting they might like it because each gun kind of fires a little differently like this gun you can fire a lot faster than the revolver for example 
Um, and then once we add the nail gun, which is going to be a whole different gun, that one's going to be ridiculous. I think that one's going to be a lot of fun. So for this one, it's like 0.25. I don't know if that's the actual number. I'm going to have to look at that. That's pretty high, actually. That might just be the revolver time. Um, but added some interesting stuff in here. It's kind of like a, a you know a very simple block out. I think the next thing we're going to do is get a little description here and then the ultimate description. And that should be a close beginning, I think. Let's continue working on this bad boy. All right, here is the beginnings of our little description thingy. Um, we've got the ultimate section that basically explains what the gun's ultimate is. We've got all the description stuff in here. And uh, I put a little icon here. It's funny, I've been using this icon for a while. I concepted this little image a long time ago. Um, it's basically a skull with bullets in it. <laughs> I made this a long time ago, I think for a really, really old project. Uh, let's see how it looks in game, of course, because that's the most important part. Um, we, of course, need to make it so it actually shows the specific gun's information. But that's looking pretty cool. Uh, it obviously is empty, right? There's a lot more that we can do to it, but um, it's pretty cool. I'm liking this. This actually does fit pretty well. Uh, I think what we could do is maybe add some details on the border or the edge. Uh, yeah, something on the edge, perhaps. I do have these like little corner pieces, so perhaps I can fit the corner pieces in there. Um, I wouldn't mind also maybe slapping in some more color. More color wouldn't be too half bad, so maybe we can look into that as well. All right, after I've devoured a quarter pounder, <clears throat> I went ahead and set up a system in here to have a bunch of variables. And I now set all of the texts and I have a map in here to basically find uh, the specific textures for the icon. And that's basically all the information I think we need for this to work. So you can see it's a little dirty and, and you know, it's not great, but it gets the job done. Um, we're setting all the, the, the strings in here so that it shows up properly. Uh, noise range has meters in it and all this stuff. Is this actually accurate? No, no, not at all. But yeah, it all works and it looks uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I would say it would be nice to perhaps add a little bit more detail to it. I feel like it's missing a little something something. Um, I feel like at the top, maybe it could be kind of cool to have a 3D background version of the weapon kind of scrolling in the background or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but pretty happy with that. I think I'm gonna call that done, though. Um, I do have five million other tasks I need to work on um, so that we can try to update the game. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It shows a bunch of the information. I have to fill out some of the ultimate information with the silence pistol, but that's just because I still need to work on it. I think there's still some missing stuff in here, so uh, I'm gonna probably work on that. And, uh, you know, this whole interface thing looks pretty good. I came up with some random ass names for these guns. Hopefully uh, that helps a few people in terms of, I guess, the process of creating a widget. Although there's, there's a lot of shit in here, but you know, um, that's basically what kind of goes behind having to create a UI piece or a UI element. Um, a lot of different little horizontal boxes and stuff like that. So then that way the structure of it works and, and looks good. Um, and of course, then you have to keep doing more testing to make sure it, test it works on gamepad and works on a whole range of different types of setups, uh, it's like widescreen and whatever. Um, it's the worst, but it is what it is. That's part of the job. Anyways, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave a comment down below what your experience is like with UIs and, uh, you know, let me know, uh, let me know what you think of the video. All right. Have a good one.